Communication, very, very important. Now we have Leffen versus Void. Ooh. 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 Ah. This is going to be gross. Ah. This should be a good set. Yeah, so. Pokemon Trainer. Going to be coming Pokemon, out. Yeah, Pokemon Pichu, Most likely, yeah. yeah. More Pokemon battles. And we'll see uh, how much Pichu knowledge Leffen has. Probably at least a little bit. I mean, Pichu, very, very well known as, as a top character in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, already, so. But again, like uh, unlike some of the other top tiers that we've seen, like the Palus, the Lucinas, the Wolf, mm -hmm. uh, when you look at Pichu, Pichu has a very, very, very extensive combo tree. Yeah. And a lot of mix-ups, and been saying this since day one, man. If you are not playing someone at that kind of caliber, if you're not playing like a Captain L or someone of that nature, mm -hmm. Some of the things that Pichu is going to do, like, you're never, ever going to see otherwise unless you're playing, like, Void or someone else. And if you don't know what to do in that situation, you just die. Right. Like, you literally just die, and that's it. <laughs> like, good luck. Yeah. So it's uh, – hopefully uh, Leffen has been taking some notes. I mean, he's someone who's also really studious when it comes to the game. For sure. Uh, and I know he wants this. So Yeah, we'll and I think, like, do. even on the fly, even if you have that knowledge uh, ahead of, uh, prepared ahead of time, you're just not going to have the muscle memory to, like, react uh, to, to yeah. those combos in the moment unless you really have practiced it out. Yeah. Which is difficult to do given that uh, we haven't had that much time with this game, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely, yep. absolutely. Yeah, on top of being ready for Pichu, being ready for Void, too. Because yeah. Because yeah, having never good. faced off either, once again, I mean, this this really leaves Leffen a lot to uh, master within the set. Yeah, right. it, it's, it's going to be rough, man. The Because Void really is good. just so nice at keeping that aggression up but pulling back exactly when he needs to, which is perfect when you're talking about Pichu. Yeah. I mean, this character uh, fits, uh, you know, fits the uh, archetype that Sheik filled yeah, for him. Yeah, a lot of uh, facets of uh, Void's strengths, right? Definitely like puts that side of being super glass cannon, uh, very very combo heavy, very very mix up based as well. And Void loves to lab all this stuff out, get this tech down. Uh, he tends to be someone who is a trendsetter and popularizes a lot of tech early in the game. Mm -hmm. So. Not too surprised to see him here with this character uh, do wonders. Yeah, he uh, Void's the only past Sheik that didn't go to Wolf or Krom. He went straight for Pichu. And that's just awesome to see considering with the new iteration, having that character crisis in the beginning, he barely experienced that. Yeah. See, it's funny that you guys mentioned that Pichu has a very strong uh, combo game because that's the exact reason why I consider him to be the best character in the game. Mm. Now, I'm a... I'm a I'm a faith believer, <laughs> believer of Pichu. But the main reason is that, if you notice, every character in this game, we always talk about, like, hey, Peach can do 60 damage off a combo. Right. Hey, Wolf can do 50 off of a throw, right? Those are all really good things, which makes these characters, for the most part, you know, top tiers. But the reason I consider Pichu to be the strongest of the mom is because Pichu has the ability to just kill you off of his interaction. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he does 40, 50 damage, which he does a lot of damage, and mm. he has one of the very best graphs in the whole game. His grab reach is... Ridiculous, right? Yeah, the it's like it's it, it almost feels like a Martha Martha crap range. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not as absurd, but it's yeah. it's pretty big. Right. But Pichu has the ability to just kill you off of interactions. For example, oh, you get down to at the ledge, well, you're dead. Right. Come one to down air, up or down air, um, down to back air. There's a just you know, jab lock into force match. There's a lot of very simple and more complex combos. For example, lightning loops mm -hmm. that uh, Pichu can perform and can just kill you all right. And, and having such a huge uh, grab hitbox or uh, box would be so it's really good because Pichu gets a lot of combo material off the grabs as well yeah yes. absolutely and then uh, obviously two jolts help uh, kind of getting in too to get that pressure and then you know if you're going to continue to pressure someone fairly safely at the end of the day they're going to crack man and if you can take a life off of that interaction like Zero said and think you are a very very hard character to beat Anyways, and Pe Pichu also has like long hit uh moves that linger for a long time with forward air and yeah. back air so really strong for edge guarding as well exactly you want an easy big two frame, man? Check out that F tilt, man. <laughs> Seven frames, active. Stays out. Oh, that almost, almost. killed. The, the, of course, the downside of Pichu is that lightest character in the game, so you right. will get some low percent KOs on, yeah. on him. But you know what's an interesting quality of being the lightest character in the game as well? So there's a lot of setups that just straight up don't work on you. Because right. you're so light, uh, you are out of percent constantly, and Pichu has the ability to. Uh, uh, inflict percentage on him so then every time that he's that uh, kill percentage from a very specific setup throw combo or something mm -hmm. he can just thunder or something real quick to get out of the range uh, right. which is actually a very effective strategy that you can do against a lot of different characters so yeah, yeah i think as the game goes on the, uh, there's going to be a lot of optimization on koing pichu at those certain percents yeah but then you, yeah like you're saying you just damage yourself it's kind of weird that that works out well for pichu yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
That being said, though, Levin doing some work with this Ivy right now. Very much so, man. Yeah. I mean, this character, Ivy's hits. It's very, very well. First down throw, vine whip. Oh, waits for the Pokemon switch and then punishes it. smart. Next boy. Really nicely done. That was amazing. Yeah. Okay, and the Ivy coming back out. One up. Up there. Pressure. Still a strong lead for Leffen right now. 131%. Yeah. Okay, that forward air is going to do it. Wow. And so that's also a, a counter option, too, because even though Pichu can maybe get out of kill setups, mm -hmm. ultimately you're still dying at an early percent. And so certain moves that usually would only kill at like 160, 170, you know, those kind of things, now they become somewhat viable kill options, mm -hmm. right? Certain tilts, obviously we saw that fair kill like Pichu, and that's usually going to be more of a poking facing tool. Right. But yeah. now it's actually a kill option yeah. because of the nature of the character. Yeah, yeah. Lesson's playing really well. All, really all, is, all things actually. considered, uh, I will probably say that Pichu is one of the hardest characters to play in the whole game. Mm -hmm. All things considered, very execution heavy character. Yeah. What I think Leffen is doing a lot right off is, first of all, we haven't seen Charizard on the screen. So that's, a, that's <laughs> already a very good <laughs> that's play. That's a good start. That's Smart. A, that's a very good play. But what I like is the fact that he's playing Ooh. Ivysaur wow. at mid range. Wow. Yeah. The Pichu doesn't stop. have very much range. And in every interaction that they were doing, uh, Leffen kept consistently putting out pressure at mid range, making Void very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, he would when he was like far enough away, he would do all the razor leaves, and then the vines just kept him really far yeah. away as well so with the back airs. I wanted to ask you, Zero. Yeah. So when I was initially talking to Void, he was saying one of the things that concerned him about the archetype of Pichu overall is that whenever he, he plays Pichu, he feels like once that character gets a disadvantage, once they get in a juggle state, he feels like it's really hard to kind of get out of it. Uh, and he feels like that's one of the main problems he's dealing with. The Disadvantages into land? Like, yeah, in the land. I think what I think something that Pichu players and Pikachu players could start doing is that you could start using up B to land. Just up B from here and just take a mix up. Players will have to guess. Like, if you go down and then left or right, you know, people will have to guess and to see what they can punish. Yeah. Right. So I know he thinks that, like, for of course, Pichu, uh, Pikachu is going to have that hitbox on the up B. But Pichu is going to have only an ability. And beautiful lightning loop, good damage right there by Void. I really like how he uh, chose back air a couple times, which had enough of uh, a lingering hitbox to punish the Pokemon switch even. Yeah. Ooh. Good That's not missing any text. Yeah, not at all. Not against Pichu, man. That's going to hurt. I feel like Leffen's one of those players that... Oh, wow. Oh, that wow. was unfortunate. <laughs> that angle Speaking was off. Yeah. Yeah. nowhere. <laughs> what I was going to say is that I feel like Leffen's one of those players that consistently plays good in tournament. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's very rare that I see him like, oh, he's playing in tournament. Oh, he's playing half of what he usually does in friendlies. I feel like he yeah. plays in a step above friendlies, which is even, which is really good, actually. Yeah, he definitely tightens up really well. Yeah, his oh. work ethic during tournament, too. I mean, he's always practicing and lapping, yeah. like, on setups on the side of the stage, behind yeah. the stage, yeah. for relevant matchups. He's been practicing with full stream. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. <laughs> that looks <And> funny. <laughs> Blair Giant Blitz getting killed by, by a little Jesus. mouse. Little rat. Who I wins? mean, to be fair, Charizard is fire yeah. flying and then Peach is electric, so that's super effective. It is. True. Actually. But he's got the tiniest <laughs> feet. The twinkle toes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and that, that whole Charizard stock. Showing why he doesn't use Charizard very often. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Stupid Charizard. I like how it starts out with Pokemon Little League. The way I feel about Pokemon Ooh. Trainer is like, if Ivysaur was so good, imagine if we got Venusaur. I know, right? It would just be like Charizard. It just kind of sat, sits there and does nothing. What if the Ivysaur, what if the Racer Leaf on the back end had three times more range? Oh. Ooh. That shouldn't work. Okay. Okay. And so, Forward Smash actually covers every option in that kind of position if it's done right. However, it doesn't cover you not doing anything. So if you see someone charging forward smash to the edge right there with Ivysaur, you can just kind of wait it out. But Leffen has been utilizing that in the corner all the time. Yeah, he spaces it such that it, it covers a lot of stuff. Yeah. But a lot of times when you see this charge, you, you kind of panic and you just want to put something out, oh, yeah. right? Absolutely. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. It up. Throw it down put it out. Boy That's fires a true combo. back. Yeah. 1-1 one, one apiece. You know what's the scary part about the features grab is that you can grab a low percent, take a ton of damage from your right. guy. And if you get grab a higher percent, you get up to the thunder, which is an execution test. It's pretty hard timing, but if you get it, you die. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't air dodge. Lefty yeah. couldn't have done anything out of that position, which is really scary because um, Pichu just punishes you for blocking, which is 
you know, you, you know we're playing a fighting game right so you know there's going to be instances where you have to block an uncoming move and Pichu just punishes you very hard for playing defensively in any capacity your retreat well here's T-Jolt now you lose right. all center stage control back into the corner and I feel like uh, the difference between the first game and the second game is that on the first game, first of all, I think uh, Leffen made a very bad mistake here in the set, which is he didn't ban FD, which is Peach's best stage. Right. Uh, why? Because he can T-Jolt, full hop T-Jolt, and he can approach for free. And you see these platforms that uh, are in the stage now in Lyland. Now these platforms will block T-Jolt, not allowing uh, Void to not be able to just approach with T-Jolt, and it actually makes it a big deal. This is why the worst stages for Pichu are consistently platform stages, Battlefield, Lilets, any stage like that that can block t yeah. works out really Makes well. Makes a lot of sense. Got the switch here coming back. Yep. Not enough. Oh, good hit. I know, this charger needs to find a way. Find a way to get out of here. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> 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 I mean, I understand. I mean, you don't want to go. Actually, he went for a flying type to a to a water type. There we go. That's why Ivysaur is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's grass. Exactly. Yeah, right. And Not it's resistant against electric. Yeah. Makes sense. It's, it's cannon. Place. It's cannon. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about uh, Ivysaur being grass poison and then left him playing Ivysaur. <laughs> Go, go on. Okay. That was the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have my curiosity. <laughs> so can, well, tell. well, connect the dots. We have poison type, left in. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> come on. you asked me to say it. I retreated. Did I? I made a respectful. I made the correct play by retreating. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, grab. Okay, chase. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a lot of damage yeah, already. <laughs> Void is actually really knowledgeable about tether recoveries. So he knew Ivysaur bounces like up and down and then goes into the ledge. He has a very specific bounce. Right. And Ivysaur has a pretty decent size uh, character model. So you can actually land uh, edge cards pretty consistently him off the level. The mm -hmm. only problem is that Ivysaur tethers really quick. Right. So you have to kind of just place the move at the right spot. And Void was trying to time that at the time. But it's, obviously, it's pretty hard. Yeah, the yeah. tight timing. Oh, wow. That's, okay. that's kind of crazy doing the thunder underneath the stage like that. Yeah, cutting through. Both of them have that kind of option off ledge where they have the uh, the vine to push you off the ledge if they're trying to trap you. Yeah. And Pichu using the thunder as well. All right. Oh. Portal Boy, is Pichu's, this back? Pichu's main oh kill move, I will say. Yeah, pretty damn good. So Void, oh, looking in a pretty good place right now. Oh, he's at 156. But again, man, he could just... Start lapping that damage just by getting these grabs right here. Right. Getting rid of damage. Those are cool. back airs gonna throw him out. Potential edge guard situation. Oh, yeah, he gets the yeah, back yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know that Peach's back air has set knockback? So it actually sends you really far even at zero. So oh. like for example, uh Leffitt could have been there at twenty or twenty five and still mm -hmm. would have killed. Wow. Like <laughs> a falcon jab? Like that's what you mean? Like a falcon strong. jab? Yeah, Same exactly. Thing? Like oh like Ness's fourth throw. Back. Like <laughs> moves like that have set knockback. Um, and it makes it really strong. The only problem with that is that it means that you can't back air combo into itself a lower percent, but a kill percent, mm -hmm. like maybe 50, 60. Because the move not only has send knockback, but also scales with damage. Right, so right. So it makes it <laughs> pretty yeah. strong. It's That's why the lightning yes. loops are also so good, right? Yes. Because it's send knockback yes. and you can yeah. do it at a lot of percent. Yeah. Base knockback is pretty crazy. Also, too, uh, Captain L actually just made a video fairly recently showing how you can escape the last hit of back air. You can actually uh, SCI a certain way, so you can oh, always okay. miss that for certain characters. So pretty that is really too. obscure knowledge. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Now, we have Void with a 2-1 to one lead uh, into the set. I think mm -hmm. Void is adapting really well despite the platform layout here. Right. But what I think Void is doing good is that he's playing without Tijil, and he's understanding the way Leffen likes to play. Leffen is a very, uh, I wouldn't say exactly completely aggression kind of player, but he likes to put pressure into you and then find ways to crack your defensive options. And I feel like Void isn't exactly playing defensive. He's more so approaching and putting him into a bad spot. Wow, even with the delay, it didn't matter. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, it was perfect on Thunder to have that switch come in. Like, left and switches are so on point, mm -hmm. and if he has to delay any of them, that's more advantage for Void. So Yeah, Void's been left. nailing these edge guards yep. pretty consistently. Dip, dip, uh, even with all the different Pokemon. Yeah, and he is maneuvering around these uh, switches every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still get back in the position of advantage, right? And, and all right under him and continue it up. In, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like reading the air dodge, right? So he, yeah. he's gotten privy to it as the set progresses. 
You know what I think Leffen could be oh, doing no. a little better here is that I think he's not Done. challenging. Yeah. Oh, man. No wow. amount of stalling would have kept him from that. Yeah. The ledge so he twice. tried it. This is a, lot, a classic option you will see from Ivy Source. They'll go for ledge drop, line whip. It's right. very, very strong. It's very, very quick. He oh, oh, no. no. Oh, and he's 25%. Yes. Yep. Yes. yes. Yep. Oh, yes. my God. One, one read. One read. Was that tackle? One read. One read. Wow. One read. No. Was that tackle? No. no, that's goodbye. Meteor. See this you in is, another life. This is why That's Peach crazy. is very dangerous oh. because he can just eliminate you off a very simple read. Like, yes. oh, I know. Like, Void didn't go for this play the entire set because he wanted to back basically, pocket. basically keep left and safe at right. jump range. And the one time left and said, "I'm gonna jump over back air pressure." Oh, I'm dead. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's and it, and it you know it's difficult to deal with. I think all things considered, I think Leffen did very good. I don't think yeah. he's very experienced against Pichu. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a crazy limb here and say, oh, Void's probably the best Pichu player in the world. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. I think I could. Uh, very you know, crazy. Debatable. Going yeah. on a whole limb Not here. Not debatable. <laughs> right. um, Talk oh, to uh, a Genesis. <laughs> but here's 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 two things I, I think Leffen could have done a little better in the set is that I don't think he was challenging Landon enough. There were many instances where Leffen will land and he was not allowing himself to. Pretty much like challenge with down air, or maybe like kiss. I feel like he was relying too much on jumping and air dodging. That doesn't work against Pichu. Pichu is fast enough where he can catch um, these options. Mm -hmm. And the second part is that uh, at some point we went from game one, um, Void struggling to approach, and then at on the next following games, Leffen struggling to get something going because he's getting over pressure. Yeah. What I think Leffen should have done is that I think he should have played either more aggressive or he should have played a stronger defense, maybe some more mixes. But all things considered, I think he did very good um, for the lack of experience that he had in the matchup. I think Void played phenomenal, as he usually does anyway. Right. Also, how you doing? <laughs> there you go. And CLG <laughs> Void here. <laughs> there you go, Void. <laughs> well, that's great, so, Void. Oh. Wow. Um, personally, I actually think Squirtle is the best out of the Pokemon. Really? Why? I'm interested because to hear. Because he's a small character like me, so it's really hard to combo him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't beat his attacks. He has like pretty much the same range, but just like better hitboxes. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he was trying to force things with Squirtle. He was yeah, trying to yeah. force things with Squirtle, and he wasn't trying to force things with Ivy. So if you notice, game one, like none of my Thunder Jolts were working at all. Yes. Right. And then I feel like he just phased out of playing like that. Mm -hmm. So as the matches went on, I was like, he's getting significantly worse at dealing with Thunder Jolt. Squirtle's not being as active as he usually is. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it's hard to kill like with Squirtle, don't get me wrong, but I'm Pichu, you know? Yeah. Right. So yeah. let's go ahead and check out the highlights, man, and you can uh, hear your mind, I hear your thoughts. On the side thing about the switches, like if you switch, you're still like in disadvantage against Pichu, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right, like there. Yeah, that was so good. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, yes. Ow. One of the main things about fighting Pichu, you just have to know how to switch. FD, he couldn't run from me. And this was pretty much the stage where I was like, oh, like my Thunder Jolts are starting to work again, you know? What did he ban against you? He banned Kalos and Town. Okay. So pretty much it's the that's the trio of bans against Pichu, you know? Yeah, po uh, Town, Kalos, and FD, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it was a mistake to let FD open and maybe he should have played you on... Kalos or maybe Town City. Um, I think I don't think oh. he did ah. anything wrong. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's just pick your poison. Are you gonna deal with me on FD, Kalos, or Town? Right. And right. he decided to pick FD. Yeah, fair enough. I also feel like um, he wasn't as comfortable with people pressuring him off stage as mm -hmm. I guess either as hard or as properly as I was. Right. Because as the set went on, I definitely killed him for just like little yeah. slip ups here and there. Yeah. Last stock. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Good well, boy, you play, you play really well, man. Well done, yeah, man. Nice. Well done. Yeah, well done. Yeah, the ace Sora. Yippee. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hooray. Wow, he's not happy. Oh. <laughs> not a day at work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, man. Really, Great really showing from Leffen, though, honestly. Yeah. That, and he started off so strong and looked like a very competitive set until that last game. I mean, we won't talk about that as much. But yeah. he really kept it close and looked like he is on the level to compete with the top ultimate players. Yeah, for no, sure, for sure. The, the, like one of those games was very, very close with that back air off stage. Like both of them were last stock at like 80, 90 percent. Mm -hmm. And just those edge guards really came out uh, so much better for for Pichu. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's the last we're going to see of PT from him? Uh, uh, I hope not because, again, um, and what Void was alluding to, really if he had a more fleshed out Squirtle and he, folk and he actually – just believed more so in his Squirtle, mm -hmm. not even just fleshing it out, because his Squirtle was playing amazing. Yeah, right. um, if he just went with that, he definitely could have been better in a lot of those situations, mm -hmm. and right. uh, he was able to pressure him. Yeah. Um, even where I, I feel like 
even sometimes, like, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, even sometimes when I see left and play in like melee, when it'll be pressure and all kind of things, sometimes he'll just go back, he'll run away, and he'll kind of reset for neutral, right? Yeah, yeah. And he'll sit back. And I feel like he wasn't able to do that with Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Squirtle, he could pressure him when he wants to, right. and leave when he wants to I as well. I think part I think of that. Really I think part. But uh, okay, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. <laughs> we will be back for more <laughs> Smash Ultimate right after this.